Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 6 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. And by Recon Boats. Made by craftsmen. Built for fishermen. Hey everybody, if you're in the market for a bigger boat like this 895T by Recon Boats, but you're hesitant to purchase because you're not sure if you can handle a larger boat like this 18 and a half footer here by yourself, today I wanna show you how I safely and effectively launch my 895T by Recon with a simple trick here, and that is a dog leash. Check this out. All you have to do is go on Amazon or any other um, large retail store around you or online, and get a dog leash. This uh, is the strongest dog leash that I could find. This is actually made for Great Danes. Um, it's eight meters in length. It's a large size. And the big thing you wanna uh, look for is a long retractable leash. That's really important. Um, so the next thing that I do, make sure that your rig is totally unhooked. Um, transom saver, straps, all that kind of stuff. We'll take the safety off here and we will unhook the boat. It's actually very simple and effective. Now, the trick here, and there's a couple different ways you can rig your, your dog leash, okay? The trick is to just rig this right on the handle here, and this particular one seems to lock into position here. It's not 100% necessary to have your dog leash lock in, but this particular one does a great job. I've used various leashes over the years. They don't need to lock in, but it's helpful just for peace of mind that your, your leash isn't gonna fall off the, uh, the winch handle here. Now. Another thing that I do to mine, just to um, protect my fiberglass, I put a little duct tape over the, um, the locking mechanism here on the leash. It's probably not necessary, but for me, um, in the way that I like to uh, take care of my recon, I like to keep that on there. So again, we'll just lock that leash in place. And then when I do this particular dog leash, they're all a little bit different. You can, um, you know, you can use a little rope and do this however you'd like, but what I do is put this around that front hook there or that eye, lock it up. I kind of do a double check to make sure that's locked up. Of course, you know, basic common sense, make sure your leash um, isn't locked up when you do this, otherwise it's gonna break it. But there you go, that's step one. Couple quick tips here that I wanna make sure we talk about. Number one, safety first. Always, 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 anytime you're moving around outside of your boat, have your parking brake on. And number two, before you launch with your dog leash solo, just make sure you've got at least one rope to, uh, to, to have ready once this boat pops off, and I'll show you how I pull it right up to the dock. Um, make sure you've got something ready that you can just tie up with and uh, pull your trailer and park and get out of somebody's way. Uh, that makes just the whole process a lot smoother. And secondly, on this particular launch, we've got a really nice dock with bumpers, so I'm not gonna put my, my buoys out um, to protect my nice fiberglass here on the 895T. A lot of times I'll do that if I've got a pretty nasty dock or a uh, dock made out of metal, but right now we won't need that. So check out the next step.
right guys, last step, unhook your dog leash, throw that in the boat, and start fishing. A couple words of wisdom here for you. Number one, and I'm just gonna repeat this because it's so important. Always, always, always have your parking brake engaged anytime you're outside the vehicle moving around the boat. And two is get to know your trailer and boat. You will over time. Uh, my, my particular uh, recon trailer here uh, pops the boat off very quickly. So you can see as I launched that, I was real gentle in, in the way that I popped it off because what you do want to avoid with the dog leash when you're solo is popping it off too, quick, too quickly. So you just want to really let it slide off nice and light um, so you can avoid breaking your dog leash. And even with these strong dog leashes, um, I have popped it off a little fast every now and then and it's fine. Um, but that's about it. Right now you can see I'm tied up, I'm ready to go fishing, and uh, an 18 and a half foot boat like this uh, 895 tiller is a breeze to launch by yourself. Try this out next time. I think you're gonna enjoy launching a boat like this.